almost lunchtime. <laughs> Haven't even gone out the door. I've looked out the door. <laughs> Actually, I did go out the door a little bit. I got other work to do besides uh, just having fun all the time. And uh, when it's 10 below zero, thank you, Josh from Montgomery, Vermont, now hiking up in the mountains. I tend to want to sleep in and do a little indoor work. Uh, but there are some patrons out here at Jay Peak Resort where the snow gun has been turned around now at the base of the flyer. Look at that. They've piled up about 12 feet of snow there to keep the uh, base area in good shape all the way into May. Well, April anyway, here on tram side. So I think we're back just to about zero degrees right now. And there's a warm front coming in. That's what these clouds are. And it's gonna be probably close to 25 degrees tomorrow afternoon for a few minutes before the Arctic hammer falls. <laughs> See the very top right through there. Yeah, there was an inversion this morning, so it was actually a little warmer up higher than it was down low. And I noticed it, uh, I was up really in the middle of the night looking at some weather guidance. Uh, the dew point was minus 50 on Mount Washington at 10 of two this morning. Minus 50 dew point. Yeah. What's that in wet bulb? <laughs> Remember from yesterday, the wet bulb? Uh, it would have been probably, uh, actually there is a formula for wet bulb. Uh, take the uh, dew point depression from the temperature. The temperature was about minus five, dew point 50. Uh, that's a 45 degree temperature difference and you uh, di divide it in a third and that's about 15, so you take 15 away from minus five. So the wet bulb, if I'm doing this correctly, was about minus 20 degrees in Mount Washington this morning. Good snow making weather. You can really utilize uh, the, the chill and have very efficient snow making in weather like this. It's gonna get less efficient tomorrow with that temperature going up. All right, stop beating around the bush. What's the polar vortex going to do? <laughs> it's like, a, it's very progressive. How's that? A progressive polar vortex. About as intense as they come, though. Doing some calculations. There's the, well, there's the tram going up. Had to take a picture of that. Uh, there have been some technical difficulties with the tram, but it's running today, and I hope to get on it pretty soon. Anyhow, the polar vortex comes through here on Friday night into Saturday, and the GFS with all that purple there, it looks like it's going to get to about uh, 38 degrees below zero Celsius on Mount Washington with the heart of the cold just going north of Maine. And that's pretty close to the same temperature Fahrenheit. So let's go for about minus 38 degrees on Mount Washington with the wind probably up around 100. I'm not even going to talk about the wind chill. Uh, you don't have to be on Mount Washington to be uh, beat up by this polar vortex. You can be on Cape Cod, for example. Where? Surprise! It snowed again. <laughs> then the sun came out by 10 o'clock. They said expect surprises. Thank you, Ginny, uh, for using that beautiful snow stick, measuring uh, one and uh, three-eighths inches snow on Cape Cod this morning. That's the most we've had since Christmas and more than we had in all of January, all together. Just amazing. Uh, meanwhile, at Mount Washington, back to Mount Washington, we've had, let's see, it was uh, about uh, 53 inches of snow in February, close to 100 inches since December 1st, where the average uh, from December through to January is about 88. So warm, snowy December. Yeah, all right, back to the polar vortex. How cold is it gonna get in Boston? The record for Saturday, that's when the heart of the chill comes in, is three above zero, three above zero, February 4th, 1978. Uh, two days before the blizzard in 1978. Well, I think we're gonna break that record. The Euro has been kind of nuts with its low temperature forecast. I don't think we're going to get to 11 below zero, but it's not off the table completely. Uh, probably about five below. That's my guess. Four below. Four below. That's my official TK guess. Kind of matches up with the Canadian model. And why not? This polar vortex is coming out of Canada. So record cold on Saturday morning. And the wind is biting, to say the least. I think I feel worse for people that have to work outdoors. There's always people that have to work outdoors. And we always hear cases of uh, fires and uh, trying to stay warm and firefighters. And uh, I think the tops of these mountains probably will not be operating Friday afternoon and on sa Saturday morning. Also, uh, Charlie Orloff pointed out the hydrangea buds are all 
swollen and full of water. Uh, we have not had our gardens become acclimatized to winter this year. It's been too warm in southern New England. So 18 hours of harsh Arctic wind could spoil many of our spring blossoms and even summer blossoms. Not a lot you can do. Charlie says, cover your hydrangea. I guess tomorrow's not a bad day for that if you're really into it. Uh, daffodils coming up in my yard. They were looking good before I came up here and uh, I'll get video of them when I get back on Saturday afternoon. I'm gonna stay up in Vermont for a while. So yeah, it, it's gonna sting. Even yesterday when we were skiing, uh, the thermometer got to about two up at the top of the tram at lunchtime as the sun was out, it was beautiful. But my face was stinging on the way down. So I'm not good at cold. So I'm, I'm not looking forward to this polar vortex at all. Uh, I've been very busy trying to keep up with everything, with the travels and trying to get plenty of exercise and meet up with friends. Lots of new friends yesterday. Spencer Ingram, <laughs> great to meet you. And all the uh, Jeezy crew. Uh, the bull wheel where the moon was out yesterday was a, it's a waxing snow moon. And it is gonna snow a little bit here tonight with a warm front, tomorrow's pretty nice. Arctic blizzard front tomorrow night into Friday. And we'll be covering it play by play. Meanwhile, highlights from easily the best ski day I've had in a long time yesterday despite the chill. Thank you for all contributors. John Dragon, Dragon Draconius. Draconis? <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> Just call him Dragon, helping me out. Down the face shoots yesterday. John Dragonus, dragon, slaying freshies. Last day of January, very snowy January. He's gone. Way to make it look easy, wow. It is not that easy. She's just kind of standing there, balancing. Carving the flow rider. Freezing outside, tropical inside. 